over the next few days but for tonight you may still have to do this scrape the ice off the car windscreen because there's going to be a frost in many areas so there will be some ice on untreated surfaces whether that be due to very low temperatures or because of some rain falling onto some very cold ground not only that but there's going to be some patchy fog particularly across parts of the midlands and northern england lincolnshire too so some really difficult driving conditions so a frost for many of us at first tonight, temperatures dropping below freezing, but by the end of the night it'll start to get a little bit less cold across northern parts of Britain, and that's because we're expecting some cloud and some rain. So that rain will arrive across much of Scotland and Northern Ireland by dawn, continuing its progress southwards to all but southern England by tomorrow evening, and then it'll arrive here during the evening tomorrow. But for tomorrow itself, while many southern areas will be dry, a good deal of sunshine in the morning, some patchy freezing fog very slowly clearing away, and towards the south coast it should stay dry throughout the afternoon, although the cloud will increase. Elsewhere that thicker cloud will bring outbreaks of rain spreading down from the north. Slowly it will start to dry out in northern areas, and it's going to get much milder here, temperatures up to 9 or 10 degrees for northwestern areas, but it'll still feel quite cold towards the southeast, with temperatures here of just 4 or 5 degrees. And next week, well it is looking much milder, temperatures into double figures. It'll be windy at times, particularly in the north where there'll be gales in places, and there will be some rain, but most of that will be in the northwest. There'll be very little in central and southern areas where we've had that recent flooding. Bye-bye.